Today I'm telling you the top 10 things Fortnite Creative needs to do to become a game as big as Minecraft. Maybe even edge out Minecraft someday. Minecraft is a huge, amazing sandbox game, and it's dominated the sandbox space for over 10 years. There's other awesome games like Roblox too, but Minecraft is king. And I've been thinking a lot about Fortnite Creative lately because we haven't had as many updates, and I was thinking about what are the things that Fortnite Creative could do to really take the next step into greatness. So I'm gonna talk about 10 things I've thought about in no particular order here, but I feel like all 10 are super important for it to get to that next level. Let's do this. First, Fortnite Creative needs a way to find maps. It needs an in-game search engine similar to Mario Maker, where you can find maps based on type, whether it's a death run or an adventure map or a multiplayer, a 1v1, a box fight, a zone wars. It needs to have like a player rating system, so you can rank it at a one star or a five star or whatever. You need to be able to sort by how many plays it has. You need to be able to see records on the maps, how fast it was completed, how many times the map was completed. What are the top kills on the map? You need to be able to sort by if it's been featured or not. And on and on and on. I still get comments on my videos of how do I find the maps that I play? I even get comments about people that can't find how to put a code into one of the rifts to play a map. There's still a good portion of people out there that only play the maps that are featured because they don't know how to enter a code in to play a map. Along with this way to find maps, you also need to be able to find the maps that you can match make in and see the queue of how many people are waiting to play that map so that you can also jump in the maps where there are people waiting, etc, etc. I feel like this is the number one thing that's going to really open up creative mode to everyone because then they can find exactly the maps they want to play and so on and so forth. Number two, I would love to see a perspective device. What I mean by that is I want to be able to force the player into first person mode, third person mode, a top down perspective, a side scrolling perspective, or any other perspective out there that I don't know about. This would open up a whole bunch of categories of maps that we haven't ever seen in Fortnite Creative. Number three, Epic needs to make it so everyone can publish maps. Now I know there's a lot of issues with everyone being able to publish maps. What about monetization? Can they have a code? That kind of thing. I think they needed to open it up for everyone and you can only get monetization if you qualify for it. So not everyone has a creator code, but they can publish maps and have codes for them. Number four, I want the ability to connect maps together. So let me explain. We have a hundred thousand memory limit on each map. Now I understand the reason for that. Fortnite is available on all platforms, including mobile, and it has to be able to run smoothly on all of those devices. When maps are bigger than 100k at the moment, it really bogs down on mobile devices. Now until they figure out how to make it 500k or a million k memory, I want the ability to connect maps together. So you can have like level one on one map and then they can warp to level two, level three, level four, etc. That way I can build a whole world, an entire video game that all connects together. Now with that in mind, I feel like we also need the ability to save progress. If someone's gonna build a huge adventure map or even a death run or recreate Mario, you need the ability to save your progress. Problem is now, if you're playing through a map and you've played it for two hours and then you just run out of time, if you wanna finish that map later, you have to like start from the beginning. So we need the ability for players to save their progress. Number six, we need a better revenue sharing model. Right now we have creator codes, which is amazing, but I feel like it needs to be more based on how long people are playing maps and not by who has remember to put in our creator code and then bought some V-Bucks, etc. It needs to be based on how many people have played your map or how much time they've spent playing your maps. In addition, I would love to see a paywall option for map creators. At some point, if I build a whole video game within the Fortnite creative system, I would love to be able to say this costs $5 to play. You can still make it free if you wanted, but I want to see that control given to map creators. Obviously, there would be some sort of revenue split with Epic, but this would open up the door to professionals really getting into creative mode and creating whole game modes, adventure maps, etc. Because now I can say, oh, it costs five dollars to play this whole game mode. Now I know you should be motivated to build maps just because it's fun, but this would really pull in a lot of professional builders and people that want to 
uh, make a living building stuff like this. Number seven, I would love to be able to script in Fortnite Creative. Basically what that means is I can go in and program simple things, to do what I want it to do. I know we complain a lot about there's not a new device or there's not, there are no new things coming out in creative mode. Well, if they had some sort of scripting in it, then it doesn't matter. We can make our own devices and it really opens up the floodgates to create more maps like you see in Roblox or Minecraft. Number eight, we need NPCs in creative mode. I wanna see some really high level NPC action. I wanna see a really cool dynamic difficulty setting where you can control how intelligent the NPCs are, how good they can build, how far they can see, what their health is, what their accuracy is, etc, etc. And I want to be able to give these NPCs any skin that has ever existed in Fortnite, whether it was on Save the World or Battle Royale. This will bring such a awesome dynamic to map building to be able to have NPCs whether they're friendly or enemies or whatever it would just really bring a lot of interest I think into creative mode and on top of that what if there was a boss NPC system where there's different size bosses that you can customize the way they look the way they act etc oh I get excited thinking about it number nine now this one's kind of simple and I feel like they could add this right now we need more generic shape pieces I'm talking about every shape in the world we need right now we basically have cubes pyramids some triangle shapes, but that's about it. I want to see that same gallery, but with cylinders, hexagons, octahedrons, spheres, hexagonal pyramids, etc. I mean, just give us every shape that's out there and let the creators make all of the millions of things we could do with that. And finally, number 10, a terrain editor. Now I just did a video about terrain and how to use it. And there's a lot you can do with the current tools in Fortnite Creative, but having a true terrain editor would really be an amazing thing for making your maps just look so, so beautiful. A whole other level of beauty. Now this isn't all that creative mode could do to take their game to the next level, but I feel like if all 10 of these things were implemented, we'd be making all sorts of crazy, crazy things. So I wanna know what you think, guys. What do you wanna see added into creative mode that you think would take it to the next level? Leave it in the comments below, and hopefully we see some of this stuff in the next few years.